Hey everybody, this is Troy Alexander, Inspiration. We're Troy Alexander. I got a thumbs up from the producer. <laughs> Listen, this is Troy Alexander, Inspiration. We're Troy Alexander one more time, coming on here to encourage you to dream, take that step and walk with purpose into your destiny. Listen, this show is about encouraging you to, to not only dream, but take that step. And listen, you can do this. Listen, follow us. We are on Facebook, as you see, YouTube, Inspiration with Troy Alexander. Follow us on our nonprofit called to inspire.org. Listen, we on Instagram, y'all. We take pictures too. Listen, follow us at pick by design. That's at pick, P I C B Y, and the word design. Stay connected with us. Listen, I am inspired Troy at gmail.com. M. Troy Alexander at yahoo.com. Listen, I got one point of purpose before we introduce our amazing guest for tonight the power of asking. Listen, do not ever be afraid to ask because, listen, they just might say, Yeah, people say, Troy, how did you get hot? Because I wasn't afraid to ask the question. Listen, you never know. Somebody just may be like, You know what? I never, but so don't be afraid to ask your question. Go get your dream. I said it before. Go, don't, don't sit there and go and, and, and get your dream. Why? Because it belongs to you. And you have to make up in your mind that you are going to be determined, be set forth. <laughs> Listen, I told you all about the seed on the last show. And I'm going to say this one, one thing real quick, Jasmine. Listen, a film director asked me to take photos behind the scenes on their next upcoming film. I'm telling you, y'all. I, I, I can't make this up, y'all, but keep walking in your purpose and your destiny and doors will begin to open. Listen, I didn't see that door, but as I moved in my purpose, that door began to open. So I encourage you. I'm telling you right now, I, I told Jasmine before the show, didn't go to school for photography, didn't have no workshop, but, but listen, doors, be, take your purpose and begin to walk in. And I'm telling you right now, keep learning, keep growing and never give up on your dream. Listen, tonight, y'all, we have an amazing guest. <laughs> Listen, Jasmine, Tatiana Brown. Listen, she began modeling at the age of seven, has worked for campaigns such as J.C. Penny, Belk, Dell, Mattel, Justice, and Six Flags. Listen, she began acting at the age of nine. She worked on multiple short films and on a featured next Netflix series. Listen, has written and created her first short film at the age of 14. She received special recognition as an actress for her role in the short film called Foster. Let's welcome Jasmine Tatiana Brown. Welcome, Jasmine. <laughs> I love it, Jasmine. I love it. How are you tonight? I'm doing absolutely amazing. How wow, are you? listen, we are so honored tonight to have you. I love what you did, Jasmine. I love that. Listen, y'all, she is not only an amazing actress, an amazing screenwriter, but she's about to break out into directing. I'm telling you, y'all, get ready for a triple threat. Jasmine, did you ever, now I'm not even sure, did you ever see yourself at any point doing all three, directing, acting, and screenwriting? Honestly, no. I think whenever I first started acting, I was like, okay, well, just acting. But the more that I've grown, the more that I've learned this business, and especially like my parents and stuff, they're like, okay, well, branch yourself to different aspects, you know? You never know what can happen from it. And now look, actors are yes. actors. It's, it's crazy, but like, I'm so thankful and grateful for like all the opportunities that I've had so far. Wow. Well, listen, we are so proud of you. Again, I'm so honored to have you on the show. Listen, y'all, I told she has written at the age of 14, y'all, I'm not talking, you know, 18, 20, at the age of 14. Jasmine, what, what, what inspired you to even start to write? Oh, man. Um, honestly, my imagination, like, whenever I was younger, my brothers, these, like, whenever they used to make me mad, I used to, like, take a notebook, and I would write, like, little stories and stuff, and I, I'm pretty sure I still have that notebook, but I kind of, since acting, I kind of liked how, like, the scripts used to form, I was like, okay, well, why not? pick up writing and like my dad also writes too. I was like, okay, well I have someone to do it with me. And now it's like, okay, writing. I love it. I love being able to create a script and then kind of see it come together in my vision. So. I, lo I love that. I love that. That's it. So, so we have your brothers to thank for, for, for them beginning your journey into writing. Yeah. <laughs> 
them being annoying was the best thing ever. What can I say? I love, love it. So we give a shout out to your brothers. Listen, that's amazing. I want to ask you because you're doing short films. Mm. Why? What was it about short films that inspired you? Um, I've always wanted to do like a, a feature film. It's definitely in the works. 2022, I'm going to put my feature, my first feature film. I'm planning to exist in. But I think yes. with the short films, I'm kind of like, there's this quote that I love. It's called, you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. So in order oh, for me to make an amazing, great, perfect feature film, I have to start with, you know, short films and kind of grow my way to get there, you know, growing better as an actress, a writer, and a director. And from growing, I know that I want to put out the best, quality movie there is so absolutely those wow so 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 2022 it's gonna be a long it's gonna be a, a, a feature film yes i'm putting it into existence yes come on jazz i'm talking about jasmine i listen put it into exist listen this is what this show jasmine is all about is putting it into the atmosphere right put it into existence i love that about you jasmine keep on talking girl oh, thank I'm telling you. You. <laughs> yes i love that listen how how long does it take you from, from concept or idea to actually finish a short film script? Well, for Awaken, it was my second short film that I've done. And I know it was only like a good like two minutes, but it took a good like month to do it because yeah. I want to put out something that people love and it was a horror film. And I want to put the best quality there is. So it took me a good four months to do everything. But like for my short film, Trap, that it was like my first short film ever that I did, it took a good like four months to do. I believe it. Yeah. I believe it. Wow. So, so, so you're telling me between uh, the last two short films about maybe two to four months yeah. about to kind of, wow. And they're two minutes, right? Like, like, like two or three minutes long? Yeah, well, uh, Awaken is like two to three minutes long and Trap to right. get like, 14 minutes, I believe. Yes, yes. Well, listen, y'all, I told Jasmine before the show, listen, I don't like horror movies. I am not hard. So, so I told her this show, this broadcast was all about her because it took all that was within me to sit there and watch her amazing huh, short films because I don't like horror. So, so, but, but I saw Jasmine on Instagram, right? And I saw her doing her videos saw her doing her, her, just her, her gift. And I said, you know what? I have to bring her on to this broadcast because everybody's gonna know your name. Everybody, uh, I'm so, so proud of you. Now I gotta ask you, what is it about horror films that inspires you so much? I feel like it's the, how something could be one way and then turn the other way. Like a girl could be just chilling in her bedroom on her phone, like, you know, like on the phone talking to your friends, like, oh my gosh, hi, yes, how's your day been? Amazing. And then like <laughs> the next second, there's someone coming out of her closet with a knife, like, oh, oh. here, I'm here to kill you. And then she's dead. <laughs> I kind of like that. I kind of like that, how like it could be one way and then the next second, it could just be like, boom. You know, it could just scare you out of nowhere, so. Hey, 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 hey listen, I, listen, uh, Dad, I'm gonna tell you, listen, I, I'm, I'm telling you, I told Jasmine, I, I took my two cousins, right, to see this horror movie. I didn't hard, I didn't look up, I think, like two seconds. The whole I was on my phone the whole time because I am not a fan. Now, Jasmine, you got to tell me, because I would think that most screenwriters write from a place. Mm -hmm. now, 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 you're 14, right? Yeah. Now, now listen, I, I, so where does your uh, imagination, like, I mean, because, I mean, like I said, I, I, I'm not, but where does it come from? My imagination, uh, it was probably from like since I was born, because you know I was born with imagination. <laughs> but like, <laughs> I, I guess just like from all like the shows that I watch, um, and I'm kind of just like you know I research a bunch of stuff. Like whenever I'm about to write a new film, I do some research on it, and I guess just ideas pop into my head. Like whenever I was shooting Awaken, there's an idea popped into my head, and I was like, okay, well this would be a really good idea. I'm not gonna. You know, it's it's a new project that I haven't yeah. wrote yet because, like, I'm right. shooting a new one this weekend, which is, you know, crazy. But it's going to be, like, my next two projects. So awesome. kind of ideas just pop into my head. And if I like it, I write it down, and then I just bring it into life. Wow. Well, listen, I, I, I'm telling you, it's amazing how you're able to take the words and and actually create them. Now, now you have to help me here, right? Because mm -hmm. cause how do you... Um, is it you that 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 
creates what the scene looks like or do you give that to the director to kind of sort of create the scene and take your words or how does that work going from the script to an actual production? Because again, I, I would think that's a process. Yes, so I feel like I write the script, of course, in my way of how I want to do it. And then I hand it over to like the director and we of course have to have a very close relationship because, you know, it wasn't my idea of creating, but like, of course I can, you know, okay, well, if I like a new idea, I'll, hey, I like it, I'll put it into the script. Um, so I kind of let the director um, and I kind of both take the lead on, you know, who kind of has that say so of like how things can roll. Wow, wow. So now you got to tell me now, because because you're acting in it, you wrote the, the, the script. Mm -hmm. um, do you find it hard to, to do both? Um, maybe, okay. So I say nothing's easy, of course. There's right, like, right, right, right. Stuff that's hard. And especially if I'm writing something and I'm acting it too, I know how I want it to be. But then it's like, because I've just like learned lately, I can't have like the same take over and over and over again. I have to mix it up. So I've learned to like for each take that I've done, I like, I kind of direct myself too. Like, okay, well, I can do this differently. You know, it might give a different feeling right. to the scene. Hey, it might be an Oscar winning scene. You know, some people might see like, oh wait, I kind of like this scene. Hey, it might make it to something blows up. You never know. So I think, you know, just kind of directing myself to give those different takes. But, wow, well, listen, I'm telling you, I I'm sure it takes a lot of skill to do multiple roles on a film. So I'm, I'm proud of you and, and so I, I applaud you. And I'm telling you, I know one day I'm gonna see you on the red carpet, whether it's the Oscar, the Cannes or whatever. But we're <laughs> gonna make sure that we hear Jasmine Tatiana Brown. We're gonna hear that name, y'all, I'm Thank telling you. you. Count it done, I'm telling you. But listen, I wanna ask you about, about acting a little bit mm -hmm. because um, how, how long does it take you to get into character? Like, 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 are you able to go in and out quickly or is it a process for you? I'm actually able to go in and out quickly because I feel like I'm in that moment, y'all. Like whenever the director says like action, I'm right there in the moment, I'm in the scene, I'm in the character. And then if they say, I'm like, okay, well, I'm myself now. And like, I'm not a method actor. So I know a lot of method actors, you know, they live like their character. And sometimes I have to take little things like for, maybe an hour, I can just act like my character around my family, like, hey, yo, I'm, I'm Sandy, this is my character now. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> just to, you know, so whenever they say action, I am my character, I know how I act, I know how I feel. Um, so that's kind of, it's not too hard to like get out of character and get into character. Yeah. Well, wow, listen, that, that's amazing to me. I gotta ask you like, what, what um, because, I'm sure that a writer writes with a purpose, right? Like, yeah. like you just, like you write. So, so do you write with uh, a purpose of wanting the audience to take something away? Or do you just write just to write and then whatever they can take from it, then that's what they take from it? I kind of like having a meaning behind it. You know, like for a weekend, it was kind of just like, huh. kind of facing your fears, you know? If mm. she was just reliving, like, you know, she was in this dream forever, and she kind right. of escaped her fears, so it still kept, you know, coming to her. And if I make another one, you know, she might beat her fears, and she might beat him up or something. Right. So I kind of just like having that meaning behind it so people can take away from it. So. Wow. I should have talked to you, Jasmine, before I watched your short films. <laughs> and then I would be like, yeah, she's facing her fears, as opposed to me just saying a horror film. But but I'm telling you, it's amazing how, how you put it together and, and your mindset, your skill, your talent. Um, I saw you in a video uh, on your Instagram page where you were, I believe, at the Young Actors yeah. Workshop, was it? Mm -hmm. Or oh, Workspace, Workspace. And um, and I mean, you were so intense. I mean, I mean, do you like playing serious roles? Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> I kind of like being in that moment. And I think yeah. the big thing about serious roles, which is like that stillness, you know, you're just like in the scene and like the audience are like, oh my gosh, it's gonna happen. Oh my gosh, I'm loving it. You know, whenever people watch my films, I want them to have that same response to, you know, how I'm portraying the scene. So definitely like, I love, love, love serious roles. Wow. Listen, you began acting at the age of nine. Mm -hmm. 
And then according to your bio, I, I read where your family moved all the way out to California to help to support your dream in acting. Now, wait a minute now. I, I remember when I was nine, <laughs> my family is not gonna pick up and move from New Jersey to California. Say, but acting, they'd be like, man, you better go and get you a, a, a camera in your house. So I, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding because my family would support me, but I'm just saying, <laughs> moving all the way to California, that had to be a big commitment. Definitely. Like, like, was there a conversation going on? Like, is this really what you want to do? Because, I mean, that's a big change. Oh, yeah. I mean, we had a lot of family meetings about it. Because, of course, like, moving from Texas to California, yeah, that is a huge deal. And, you know, of course, we were risking a lot of sacrifices. But my right. family was big on, like, if you want it, we want it. If you don't want it, okay, fine. That's chill. Go find something else that you love. But whenever I, like, met acting, it was like, oh, my gosh, I love it. I love being able to play another character i love being able to step into so, like ah, into, oh. oh gosh, and being able to step into like someone else's shoes and i was like mom dad i want this and they're like okay well we will fully support you and we moved to california and now here i am you know we are the whole family we do films together and that is so so special to me to have that such an amazing support group behind me so i i love that jasmine again a whole family but i gotta ask you did you feel any pressure at all? Mm. Or were you just excited? I was so excited. I can tell. Yeah. I heard in your voice. Yeah. I wasn't even there, Javi, but, but I can imagine at the age of nine, I can, because I hear it in your voice now. It's mm. such passion and excitement. I love that about you. And you have to be, right? Because it, it doesn't come easy. And you yeah. have to be able to press through some things, right? So, oh my goodness. Well, that's amazing. And I love that. And Again, I mean, moving all the way to California and um, making that. So you were serious. Oh yeah, you definitely. You were serious about this. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, listen, I, I'm just telling you, I'm, I'm so uh, uh, proud of you. Again, all that you've done and what you're doing. Now tell me, what is it like doing films with your family? Oh. Because I think I saw your mom as a producer of one of the movies. Before the show, you said your dad's going to edit, you know, one of your upcoming films. I'm like, what is that like to have your family as, as as part of your team? I'm so like thankful and grateful to work with my family. You know, like if we ever have some ideas, because of course, like I come up with like five ideas, like on my phone, on my iPhone, I have like notes, you know, the notes app. And I just have like a whole thing of just like ideas and I tell them and being able to be so opened up with my family. It's like, I really like this idea. Like, I really just want to make it come true. And like, heck yeah, we'll do it. Let's, <laughs> you know, let, let, let's buy the equipment. Let's find some people who, can, oh. who are willing to make this vision come to life. So it, I'm, I'm so thankful and grateful for my family. Like words can't explain how thankful I am for them. Wow. Well, listen, we want to give a shout out to your mom, your dad, your mm -hmm. brothers. Every, and I don't want to miss anybody, but your family for yeah. supporting you and because that is so powerful to have your family to believe in you mm -hmm. and and believe in your dream. Now, Jasmine, tell me now, because I know it hasn't been easy, right? It hasn't been, you know, the road hasn't been. So so what would you say has been one of the most challenging uh, uh, parts of your journey thus far? Definitely being patient because I feel like, oh, personally, if I like want something, if I, if I really want it and I work hard, I stay up to like, three o'clock in the morning doing it, working on it. And I'm, I am get up at four o'clock in the morning because Dwayne Johnson gets up for like all these successful people get up. <laughs> okay, now I gotta get up at four. It's, it's, it's hard to like being patient for the thing that I want. It, it, it's not easy, but I think I'm just learning like, hey, it, it's gonna come. I put in the work, I will have faith that my dreams will come true. So, you know. Wow, wow. Well, listen, I love your, your spirit. I love your personality. I love just, just, just your energy. I love it, Jasmine. I'm telling you, listen, we were on the show, y'all, before, uh, and, and we were just talking, and I could just feel the excitement. Listen, you will see her name in lights. You're going to see them, I'm telling you, somewhere. Yes. I'm telling you, I, mark my words. And I'm so, again, I can't, I can't express how, how, how watching you do, your, do what you do. I mean, I have to ask you, when did you know this is what you wanted to do 100%? 
because again, you're nine, beginning mm-hmm. acting, nine. And then almost about a year later, your family is, is moving from Texas to California. Yeah. When did you know that that acting was really, because was it acting that, that helped to cause the move or was it the writing or did the writing come after the acting? I can say writing came like, I think I've always like wrote whenever I was younger, but writing did come after like acting. But I feel like whenever I first like knew acting was like for me, it was whenever I first moved to California and I had booked this Netflix job for d people. And I was on set, I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I love this. I love seeing the actors. I love the cinematographer. He's working the camera. I love being in that moment. I was like, oh my gosh, this is it. This is it. This is it. I love it. So I was like, I was 10, I believe. So yeah, that was like four years ago, but that, that was the moment. I was like, this is it. This is what now, I want. Jasmine, now, now listen, I love that. I love that. But listen, how long, wait a minute. Was it less than a year? that you moved out there, that you was on a Netflix? Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, Jasmine, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you start acting at the age of nine. Yeah. And by the age of 10, your family moves out to California to follow and support your dream. Yes. And not even age 11 yet, you are on a Netflix series. Mm-hmm. Come on, Jasmine. Crazy. Are you telling me the truth, Jasmine? Of oh course, I wouldn't lie. <laughs> wow. What was that feeling like? Oh. To be, because, I mean, I can't even imagine. It, it's words can't explain. It's like, because I've always wanted like, to move to Hollywood. I remember when I was like five, I wrote, one of my dreams, move to Hollywood. And I was like, I, here I am. I'm like, I, I'm here. My dream is coming true. And to be there, Oh gosh, I don't, like in the moment, I don't think I, I even realized what was happening. Like it didn't hit me to act, like actually watch it. I was like, that's me up there. <laughs> wow, wow. Listen, I gotta ask you, Jasmine, did you, um, how did you know that, that you were good enough to be in the room? Because I, I'm telling you at age 10, I'm, 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 like, I'm nervous, mm-hmm. you, know, I, you know, all these lines, <laughs> it was two words. I'm still nervous. Right? Yeah. Oh, um, how, how did you know that you were good enough to be in the room? I personally, I don't really uh, bring up like, hey, look, this, you know, I kind of just focus on me. I focus on what I love and that's acting and writing and soon to be directing. And whenever I focus on a love, I kind of just tune off the other things. Cause I know if I stay focused, like, oh my gosh, am I good enough? Like, am I good enough to book this audition? Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Like, I don't know if I can do this or not. I know I can get in my head pretty easily. And I'm like, okay, it's fine, Jess. It will come, just, just have some faith, believe and keep working hard. And I just stay focused on me. And you know, soon my name will be in the spotlights. <laughs> it will. And just so you know, Jasmine, that, that, that few seconds that you just said what you said, showed me your acting skills. I mean, you went into a character. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, she is phenomenal. And listen, you were in a film. I'm trying to think of what age you were, but but called Foster. Uh, it's 10. 10. Now, now that 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 movie, um, your short film, whatever, but but it was about a, a foster child. Yeah. Right? So I'm, I'm saying to myself, how is Jasmine at, at, at that age playing a role of a foster child when, again, I don't know if you ever experienced moment, but how did you get into character? Honestly, me being 10, I, at the time, you know, I didn't really know much about acne business because I was just like, you know, kind of just getting getting into it I'm pretty sure it was probably one of my first short films that I did but whenever I got to set I was like hey I'm just gonna have fun I'm going to act <laughs> and it, it was a fun experience because I just went in there and I just did my thing and I had fun but of course now if I were to get that I think I would uh break down my character just a little bit more <laughs> but I think at the time I'm so proud of myself for that I still look back you at that should be. Like, it's pretty good Yes, you should be. I mean, listen, listen, that one was so powerful. I mean, it was emotional. It was serious. Like, it almost brought, brought tears to my eyes. I mean, you were really amazing oh, in that. 
And and so I definitely, and you got recognition for that. Mm -hmm. Yes, at 10, y'all, I'm telling you. Listen, I, I, and guess what? She's only 14, having already written her short film, getting ready to do another, getting ready to do a feature. For, I'm telling you, Tyler Perry, look out. Jasmine <laughs> Tatiana Brown is coming, I'm telling you. Look out, Tyler, she's coming, y'all. She's coming. Listen, I, I, I just want to, uh, again, just say thank you. You, you are just so thank phenomenal. You. And listen, separate y'all from the acting, separate from the screenwriting, separate from the directing that she's doing. Listen, y'all, she's a model. I know I didn't have to tell you that because you can look at her right now and tell her, right? She's a, she began modeling at the age of seven. And, and, and you're getting all the, listen, what was it like to, to, to walk into a justice store? Oh, gosh. And see your your poster, your photo on a wall. I mean, I, I go in and be like, so and it's you. What was that like? Um, and, and it was it was breathtaking. I remember when I was younger, I used to always go to Justice with my mom, and I'd see the girls on the wall. And then I was like, "Ooh, mom, I love this book." You know, I I used to shop at Justice a lot, and I had to walk into the store and see myself. I was like, "Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is." This is breathtaking, and it, it was a dream come true, and I'm so, so grateful for that moment. Wow. Well, listen, I, I can't even imagine, well, you know, just, just to be able to walk into a store and see your picture off. I mean, so, so modeling, did you have any training at all? Uh, I think whenever I started acting, I don't think really, like, how much training from acting, um, same with like with modeling but like my parents used to model whenever they were younger so like my parents used to be in the living room and be like go over poses okay. and my mom was like i'm pretty sure like she used to like own a modeling business and stuff and we'd rock the one way together um <laughs> i know my mom and my dad they were models oh. too, but uh yeah and i think for acting with training just acting classes whenever i first started um I came out to California. It's when I really started really getting into acting classes. But now, you know, I I watch YouTube videos about all these successful people. And like, my name's going to be there someday. I just got to yes. gotta keep working. So Yes, yes. Naomi Campbell, watch out. I'm <laughs> telling you, all, all, all the models. You are such, you are, you have it. Whatever oh. it is, you have it. You do. And 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 again, I've, I've worked with young people all of my life. And I, and I, and that's why I knew I had to have you on the show because, because I saw you and I'm like, listen, I, I see what she's going to become. I do. I, 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 I see such because you're so gifted and, and there's only so much that you can contain in terms of a light inside of a box. It, it's going to shine out. So, <laughs> so I'm just saying to you, I'm so happy for you. So proud, excited about your next journey. And I got to ask you, how do you stay so focused? What appears to me so confident? Like, were you always this confident? Uh, I make my, my, my parents, you know, they, they kind of put it on my, like, you know, don't get, you know, not, not cocky or anything. Right, but just right. be confident in yourself and just like, hey, I own this. I got this. I, be I believe in myself doing affirmations in the mirror. You know, like, yes. I'm beautiful, I'm talented, I'm going to stay humble, of course. And then, like, watching one of um, inspirational speakers, like, Les Brown, um, yes. E.T. Thomas, Tony Robinson, watching all of them, it kind of, like, put, like, mindset. It was like, okay, yeah, it kind of, kind of you know, pumped me up a little bit. I was yes. like, okay. my mind, you know, I guess it's kind of... Go ahead, Jasmine. Yeah, I feel you, Jasmine. I love that. <laughs> Wow, I love Les Brown. Oh, oh, yeah. awesome. listen, man, listen, I love to motivate. I love to encourage. Listen, I got to ask you, though, um, have you had any moments where it was just really, really tough? You know, because, again, you know, everybody see the highlights, right? But they don't see behind the scenes. Um, have you had any moments, whether it's acting or uh, modeling, where it, 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 it didn't seem fun? Um. I would say it's always like been fun because I've always loved it. Good, but good. Has, there, has there been hard times? Of course. Like, you know, going out for, I would say for acting, going out for an audition, 
and then you know if, if you really want it and then not like booking it and then like seeing you know that person get it of course i'm so happy for them they they worked it they worked that role and i'm so happy but i guess just that that feeling like oh man like i kind of really wanted that but then you have to be like hey it wasn't meant for me it's fine i'm gonna you know there's something else out there that i know it's gonna be better for me so i guess you know that kind of feeling it's a wonderful mindset to have and I, I'm, I'm telling you, at the age of 14, wow, Jasmine, wow. Listen, everybody, we are talking to Jasmine. Tatiana Brown began modeling at the age of seven, has worked for campaigns such as J.C. Penney, Belk, Dell, Mattel, Justice, and Six Flags. Began acting at the age of nine. She worked on multiple short films and on a featured Netflix series, has written and created her first short film at the age of 14 received special recognition as an actress for her role in the short film called Foster. Listen, everybody, Jasmine Tatiana Brown, listen, I, 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 I so much that I want to ask you about your journey and how you got it. Listen, where do you see yourself next? Whether it's uh, directing or screenwriting or acting or modeling or whatever else skill set, because listen, y'all, I'm not going to tell you, but she got some other stuff that she's working on now. I'm not going to go into it. But, but listen, one day you might see Jasmine and me do a duet one day. That's all I'm going to say. No further. But where do you see yourself, Jasmine, like, like, like a year from now? Because what I love about you is that you said you write things down. Mm -hmm. And I think mm -hmm. that is so powerful. Do you still write things down? Oh, yeah, definitely. Love it, love it. Love it. Where, where do you see yourself, say, in a year, two years? Because you already told me you're working on a feature film. Yes. Um, yes. I it's, it's it's wrote to be honest I wrote it like a good two years ago but like since I've grown so much from there I kind of want to revamp it I know I can okay. do things to change it so that's like for writing definitely at 2022 you're gonna you're gonna see a feature film by me and yes. of course, like, my family's gonna be on the whole production ever acting I'm gonna book a series lead show like, that's like, right. bring it to existence it's, it's gonna happen it's that's gonna right, happen. Jasmine. I love Go ahead. Listen, uh, listen, listen, you inspire me, Jasmine. I'm going to be inspired you. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, my goodness. Listen, you, you are such an inspiration. I want to ask, though, because, you know, as a young person, right, where there's social media, you know, and, and not all young people can be, or even adults, can be so nice. Yeah. Have you ever had an experience where someone either said something negative either about your films or about your work or about anything. Have you had to go through that at this point yet? Oh, oh definitely. Of course, people put negative comments on my films and stuff. But I think what I do is, you know that song I Taylor Swift, shake it off, shake it off, off, off. Yes, That's yes. my high song. I just shake it off. Like, okay, uh -huh. you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You like, okay, it's like, you know, not everyone's going to be nice to you. Not everyone's going to love what you're doing. But I feel like in this moment, if you understand your why, like, hey, like, why am I doing this? And then, like, you know, through those hard moments of time, it's like, you know, I know why I'm doing this. I know why I love it. I'm not going to let someone on the internet who might not like it. And, that, and that's fine. Everyone has their own opinions. But I'm not going to stop what I do just to please someone else. So that's kind of my mindset going into those feedback, <laughs> hard feedback. I, I'm gonna have to ask your parents, are you uh to check your birth certificate? Are you really 14? <laughs> <laughs> Jasmine, you are, I mean, such mature responses. It's it's amazing. Well, listen, I, I knew you were amazing before you came on the show. And I and I think you're more amazing now. Uh listen, I, I just I, I just can't um say again how proud I am and you, your journey of where you're going, what you're doing. Um listen, who who inspires you? I mean, in terms of a film, is there an actor or a director or a like who inspires you? I can say that my favorite actress, oh my gosh, I love her, Rachel McAdams. Her, I watched her audition tape for The Notebook. I'm not gonna lie, like a hundred times, seeing those moments oh, that yes. she breaths that she take. I know people are like, okay, well, it's just a breath. But that breath, she told a lot about that story. Like, I really hope someday I'm able to meet her. So Rachel McAdams, if you're watching this, hi, I'm Jasmine. I'd like to meet you one day. There <laughs> but, you go. Yes. Amazing. Listen, listen. I said the power of asking, Jasmine. 
send send her a message on Instagram. Yeah. Send 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 an email. Listen, there's an actress. I don't know if you remember because you might be a little bit too young, but your mom and dad might remember the show Girlfriends. But it was a show back. It's on Netflix now. Mm-hmm. But but one of the actresses, right? Yeah. You know, I'm I'm seeing her do a IG live. And I said, you know what? She's so inspiring. I would love to have her on my show, right? So what did I do? Ask. Mm-hmm. I, I said, and guess what? The next morning, Jack, I'm talking to her on the phone. Really? And, yes. And she's coming on the show mid-February. All, all I'm saying is never give up on your dream and don't be afraid to ask. If you want to meet somebody, send them an email. Send them, call, listen, call their PR person and say, listen, I, I am an actress. I'm a director. <laughs> Listen, I'm a, and, and I'm a screenwriter, and I would love the opportunity to uh, talk to uh, what's her name again? Rachel McAdams. Rachel McAdams. Say it. I'm telling you. Listen, you never know. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna say this: for the first time, Jasmine, I had a publicist contact me <laughs> to have their client come on my show. Now that's the first time I've ever had someone to say, you know what, we want to. Co- because of, of the purpose of who we are. Listen, I got, you, you, you are so, do you actually go out and, and actually speak to young people or speak because you are a motivational speaker. Oh, thank you. Talking about pur- yes, that. yes, about purpose and knowing who you are and you need to um, put, you out, put yourself out there, Jasmine, and, oh. and be like, listen, <laughs> I, I'll come talk to your, your class about acting, about screenwriting to motivate, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you should. You Definitely should. put it into the books. <laughs> yes. That's a humongous compliment. Wait, <laughs> thanks. It is, right? Because I'm hearing you, but I'm hearing you beyond the now. Oh. So I'm hearing you in this moment. Yeah. And I can see you on stage. And and listen, uh, you know, Les Brown and, and all of them. Yeah, yeah. But I can see a Jasmine Tatiana Brown on stage motivating people because you have the charisma you have the attitude you have mm-hmm. the i'm like like you are unstoppable basically i mean to me anyway but but oh, it's amazing you so much from smiling <laughs> <laughs> listen i'm telling you this it's amazing to see your journey and to where you're going and 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 how do you balance it all because i can imagine you're in school mm-hmm. right and okay. and so um how do you balance like like your school work your, your films you're modeling. I kind of, uh, of course, like at the beginning of the day, I make a plan of what my plans are to do for the day. And I think just like from getting up so early in the morning, it's like, okay, I will put five hours into school because I'm homeschooled and, you know, I got to get those A, <laughs> got to get those A pluses. So, of course, I put time to school. But I think lately, like at kind of the end of the day, I kind of just like work on acting. I create new films. I do my shot list for my new project that I'm working on. I do all my character profiles. And I'm, I'm really lucky, especially to be homeschooled because it gives me the opportunity to do what I love and of course have the time to do it. So, you know, I'm homeschooled. I mean, I'm home most of the time, but I'm able to spend a lot more time with my family too. So it, it's kind of a plus so. Phenomenal. Listen, I want to ask you, what, what do you want? Whenever you go to a casting or whenever you meet people in, or just people in life, what do you want them to walk away knowing about you? That Jasmine and Tatiana Brown is what? The Jasmine Tatiana Brown is, oh, that she is, I think, very maybe talented. But like, I feel like whenever people meet me, I want them to like, I guess to leave, I want them to be like, man, she inspired me to go do something. She inspired yes. me to go make my own film. She inspired me to start my own dance class. She inspired me yes. to you know, sing, do covers on YouTube. So I guess I just, I feel like whenever people leave me, I want them to feel like inspired, I guess. Yeah. Well, well, they are. And when they watch this video back, I'm telling you, <laughs> and guess what, Jasmine? Um, one of my goals, and, and, and hit me just the other day, right? So, so um, I want schools, whether elementary, junior high, high school, college, I want them to take our videos and make them part of the curriculum. Oh yeah. So that, yeah, yeah. So 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 that students can be inspired to say, you know what, 
you can do this. If it ain't nothing but to inspire them in whatever area that mm -hmm. they want to go into. Um, so, so that was my next thing, Jasmine. So I listen, one day I might write a proposal to a school and say, listen, these videos will inspire your students to dream. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't have a dream, what do you have? You know what I'm saying? So that's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So, but but listen, and, and and one thing that I didn't tell you, but I did tell you I love to sing. But the other thing was that I always thought that I would be on Broadway one day. Oh. Because I love musicals. Oh, love yeah. musicals. Oh my goodness. So so have you ever thought about doing a play as opposed to a film? actually the feature film that I think I was talking about before that I wrote back like two years ago I was actually what? supposed to be a play and what? I was working with a writing coach too and I'm like okay let's make a play but the more that I wrote it I was like well I think I actually might want to turn this into a feature film I kind of like it so I kind of of course I had to go all the way back to the beginning and make it into a feature film kind of script form rather than a play but uh, yeah I mean Someday, actually, might do plays, but you never know. Never know. Mm -hmm. I'm with Jasmine Tatiana Brown. You will never know, but look out because she's coming, y'all. She is coming. She's coming. I want to ask you. Um, uh, you, you know, you've done so much in just your your 14 years of life. Oh my goodness. Um, is there anything that you would change about your journey thus far? If you could go back and do it over. Is there anything about your, your journey that you would change? Uh, honestly, no. I wouldn't change anything. I, I, I love, I guess, my journey and being able to tell people, hey, it's, it's hard. Of course, nothing's easy in life. But my family, has said, my family always says is, if you say it's hard, then it's going to be hard. <laughs> so, hey, yeah, true. it's easy. I recommend it. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's difficult. You're going to go through hard times. You're going to hit so many walls you're gonna hit raw the bottom but at those moments of time like i said before just remember your why because that why it's so important it's like why are you doing it and if you could just remember that and think okay you know I i'm doing this i'm doing this for myself i'm doing it because i you know want to make that bank thing <laughs> I'm, doing <laughs> I'm doing it for my family just remember that why trust me you will you will punch those walls but like, hey come here wall for you Get out my way! You're 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 all you're in the wrong track. This is my this is my trail that I'm taking. So you know, remember that why and punch them out. <laughs> Listen, y'all. I'm telling you, motivational speaker extraordinaire Jasmine Tatiana Brown. She's she's coming your way. I'm telling you. Listen. She's gonna be the next superwoman. Listen. Hey, I'm telling you. Listen. When they do the next, oh. she's gonna be it. I'm telling you, Jasmine. I'm telling you. Listen. I I, I heard you. I I heard you loud and clear. And, and I'm telling you, we, we are just uh, really in awe of you um, and just who you are and who you are becoming. Um, I'm so proud of you. Oh, I, I am so, so proud of you. And um, listen, um, how can people find you? Like, like where, what are your social media platforms that folks can find you and follow you? And, and I know you got your films out there. Mm -hmm. Well, for Instagram, it's Jasmine. J S M I N underscore Tatiana T A T Y A N A, and then on my YouTube channel, I'm not gonna plug my YouTube channel. It's Jasmine Tatiana Brown, same spelling, just J A S M I N T A T Y A N A Brown, um, and then like yeah, basically. Listen, fo follow this amazing young lady. Uh, uh, <laughs> I love, I'm telling y'all, I know y'all see what I see. <laughs> I, I'm telling you right now. Listen, and I'm telling you, you are. You know, you know, because because I can see it come out of you. You know, it's in you, and and so if it wasn't there, I wouldn't be able to see it. Yeah. But I, but I I have the ability to to see beyond, and and I see so you're so gifted. Oh my goodness, you don't even know Jasmine really how how truly gifted you are. I mean, I know you believe, you know, you have to believe in, but 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 you need to go on tour, and and tell people remember your why. Oh yeah, but it, it's so strong too. Oh my, yeah. I it's, feel it when you say it. Mm -hmm. it it's, I it's, do. It's, 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 yeah, I think that why, at least for me, it kind of, it pushes me too. It's like, I think like I said before, you know, whenever I'm hitting rock bottom, whenever I'm just like, oh man, is this, is this gonna work out for me? It's like, yeah. hey Jay, why are you doing it? And like, 
yeah, 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 why, why am I doing it? Yeah, hey, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fail, I'm gonna fail so many times, I'm gonna make so many mistakes, but that why, I know that it, it, it will help me, especially with my support group and my family, I know that they will always have my back, no matter what I'm doing, and I'm so thankful for them, so I recommend, you know, finding out that why, because trust me, it, it will help you, it really will. Find your why, everybody. Jasmine and Tatiana Brown, uh, motivational speaker extraordinaire, <laughs> said, find your why. Find your why. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you, Jasmine, I'm not going to keep you much longer, but I want to ask you really quick. Um, ha has there been moments, um, are you a strong critiquer of you? Like, like, do you watch your films back or watch what you've done? Be like, oh, I wish I had done that. Oh, I wish I had. Yeah. Are you like that? I am, and though I am proud of the work that I've done, just seeing like my past short films that I've done, the ones I've created, the ones I've acted it, I even look back at my old self tapes that I sent in, you know, for auditions. I'm like, did I really do that? Oh man, like doing that now, I could have murdered it. I could have done so much better. So definitely, I I am a pretty. I critique myself a lot, but then it's like, hey, you you know what's so good about this moment? You got better, and I think you have to each day just get better and better and and that's it's, it's very very important <laughs> yes yes get better y'all remember your why and get better listen jasmine i want to ask you really quick and and this might be one of my final questions and then i'm just going to give you the floor um talk talk to that young person again i mean i'm like wow like age nine and you start acting and your family moves out to california from texas i believe you said to at, at age 10, uh, within that year, you're on a Netflix series. Mm -hmm. um, and then, I mean, it's just, but talk to that young person, right? Who, who their journey doesn't, doesn't go that way, but they love what they do. They love acting or love writing or, or want to direct, but I just, but, but just don't see the horizon just yet. Uh, what would you say to them to encourage them to hold on to their dream? I would say, uh, first of all, don't give up. I think it's pretty big, um, big what? <laughs> pretty big on if you want something in your life, if you love it, if you eat, sleep, breathe, if you cannot think about it, if you, whenever you're going back to the you feel like, oh my gosh, it's all mine, I want, I want, I want that. Live your life doing something that you don't love. Don't live your life trying to please us. No, of course, and happy. Life. Listen, everybody, it's, uh, it's I'm, so I'm, important. I'm, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Well, listen, I'm telling you, Jasmine, we, we again, I can't express how how proud I am of you, and and I'm um, uh, we just have to move on. Listen, y'all, y'all know things happen with uh, technology, but listen, we're we're so grateful, Jasmine. Uh, for you and I thank you so much for all of who you are um, and um, thank you thank you thank you um, I want to give you one more yeah 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 just talk to him again tell me again what what you would share because you know the screen got a little frozen there for a moment but but say again what would you share to encourage them to follow their dream all right again um, I mean, well, listen, y'all, y'all know tele tech technology happened, but listen, we keep on walking in purpose and walking in our destiny. <laughs> but I'm so proud of Jasmine Tatiana Brown, and I'm hoping that that just momentarily. But listen, uh, at the age of 14, y'all created and wrote a first short film. I'm telling you, just just continue to to hold on to your dream and never give up on your dream. So we've lost the connection, but guess what? We're going to keep on and holding on. Again, we're so proud of Jasmine Tatiana Brown. And, I'm, and all, all I know is something greater is going to take place in her life and in your life as well. So I'm hoping that she, that she comes back on to the broadcast. But if not, listen, y'all, we're going to have her back just to encourage and uplift. And if you can hear me, Jasmine, come on back in. I, I'll hold on for you because you're worth that much. But I'm telling you right now, I told you earlier, never give up on your dreams and don't be worried about adjustments. Things happen in life. 
It's called life. But you have to learn in your mind that you're going to take whatever experience that, 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 that you're going through and, and not allow it to stop you, but let it raise you up into something greater that you're destined to become. Listen, it's going to get tough. Let it make you tougher. Listen, if it's tough, let it make you greater. I'm telling you right now, this is all about a determination and having a determined mind. So hold on to your dream and never give up on your dream. Y'all know my motto, dream, take that step and walk with purpose into your destiny. And again, like I said, I'm hoping that Jasmine will, will, will come back on if she can. But listen, if not, we're going to have her back on the show. And I'm telling you, to inspire you, to, to uplift you, and tell you, hold on and don't ever give up on your dream. Listen, I told you before, and I'm so grateful for the opportunity to have been asked by a film director to be their photographer for their next upcoming film to shoot. Not only, listen, y'all, I, 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 I put a post on it to, 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 to shoot behind the scenes, but not only that, but to shoot the premiere, to shoot all, all the travel and, and, and take photos at the premieres. But I'm telling you right now, it's not about, 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 about what shall be. It's about what is. It's about the opportunity to, to, to be able to be asked a question. Here she come, y'all. She's coming back. I told you, hold on. She's coming back. And I'm so grateful for her coming back. And I'm hopeful that, that the connection will be a little better this time. Uh, I'm hoping. But, but listen, we're going to keep, keep holding on, y'all. Keep, keep holding on to your dream and never give up on your dream. I'm not sure we're going to try one more time, but I'm so grateful for, for all of who she is and, 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 and what she's becoming. So again, I encourage you right now, don't ever, ever, ever give up on your dream. And I'm hoping that we can get her back. But listen, if not, we're going to have her back on the show uh, one more time. And I'm so grateful. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am. So I'm so grateful. So I'm trying to get it back, y'all. But listen, everything has purpose. Everything has purpose. And no matter what's going on, it's working for your good. It, there's purpose in it. So I'm grateful for her. And I'm hoping that we can make it back. But I won't keep you much longer. But listen, this is an amazing broadcast with Jasmine and Tatiana Brown. And uh, I'm grateful. So hopefully the connection will get better. I'm telling you right now, my, my whole purpose in life is to inspire, to uplift, and let you know, don't give up on your dream. Here she is, y'all. I think she's back with us. I think she's back. Come on, connection. Come on, connection. We speak the connection into the atmosphere. Come on, connection. Bring Jasmine and Tatiana Brown back on to the broadcast. I hope you can see me, Tatiana, or hear me, one or the other. But we're so grateful. But it's okay. It's okay. Listen, I told y'all before, when you plant the seed, at first you only see the dirt. But listen, listen, there's something under the dirt. <laughs> listen, your past might have looked like ain't nothing there. But I'm telling you right now, even in your past, <laughs> the seed was still there. And that's the seed of greatness that's down in your life. So I'm willing to hold on. I know the show's going longer. But listen, I'm not sure what's going on, but it's okay. It's okay. But listen, if it's not meant to be, we're going to bring her back next time. I'm trying to hold on, y'all. So, so, so bear with us. Sometimes you got to press through some stuff. I told you before, life. Listen, I said before, I stuttered as a child. If anybody know about stuttering, <laughs> listen, it's not easy. Couldn't get a word out of my mouth coming from elementary school, junior high school, high school. But listen, and the more nervous you get, the harder it is to speak. But I declare right now, listen, all of us come from a place, but don't give up on your dream. Don't give up on your destiny. I'm telling you right now, there's purpose in it. There's purpose in it. So I'm hoping that she tries one more time and then not we're gonna let you go for tonight. But I'm so grateful tonight for all of, 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 of who you are and every dream, every, every greatness that's within inside of you. So hold on to your dream. Don't give up on your dream tonight. Listen, we come on every week. We got a show tomorrow night. Listen, gonna be phenomenal. That's gonna uplift and encourage you again to never, to not give up on your dream. So I'm holding on for you, Tatiana. Listen, I, I know some mothers might have to go if they have to, but it's okay. I'm gonna hold on as long as I can to uplift 
and say thank you one more time to you and to your parents and your family for allowing you to come on to our broadcast. But listen, y'all, every week we're coming back. We're coming back. And listen, I'm, I'm just grateful for the opportunity. And listen, that film, look at my stars and athletes. And listen, but but we don't know where, where but, but keep moving in your destiny, in your car. One last time, y'all. We're going to try one more time and bring her back. And hopefully the connection will work for us. So, okay. All right. So we got some, one more time, y'all. We're going to try one more time. And hopefully she can come back on. Uh, but if not, we're going to bring her back on the show. We have to, y'all. We have to end this in the way that that it deserves with her amazing greatness. So I'm hoping that that her picture will come in. That she's trying to come in, y'all. Can you hear me, Jasmine? Oh, uh, all right. Well, listen, uh, we're going to hopefully have a picture come up one more time, but don't, don't give up, y'all. Mm -mm. And if I can do anything to help to support your dream, I will do the best that I can, but to make sure you have a dream. Don't ever let go of your dream. And I'm telling you, everything has purpose. <laughs> listen, listen, going through that time in my life where I couldn't talk, <laughs> listen, y'all, it has purpose. And now <laughs> I motivate. I go, I, I do speeches. I, I, I've been to colleges to, to, to uplift and to motivate. So we're trying to get one last time. If it don't, then we're going to bring on another time, y'all, because we're going to close this out right. But there's purpose in all things. And I'm telling you right now, Jasmine Tatiana Brown, <laughs> listen, y'all, I told you she began modeling at the age of seven. She worked for campaign with J.C. Penney, Belk, Del Mattel, Justice, and Six Flags, began acting at the age of nine, y'all. On, on a Netflix series at the age of 10. My goodness. And she wrote and, 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 and wrote her and created her first short film. There she is. How you doing, Jasmine? Good. I'm good. All right, I listen, I know. I yes, yes. Can you hear me? I can hear you. All right, Jasmine, listen, take us out, Jasmine. I want to give you the last words to uh, inspire. And listen, things happen, but they happen for a purpose. So listen, take us out, encourage one more time, Jasmine, and, and, and let them know why they should not give up on their dream. Look, you should not give All up right. on your dream. And it's just like, it's just like you know, you're, you know, spend your life doing what you love. If you love something, and like I said before, a million times, we you know your why, go for it. The road will be rocky, like the Rocky Road ice cream. It definitely will be rocky. But of course, you have the little chocolate, you have the little spoons of like the silk smooth chocolate ice cream. Nice. <laughs> so you will get those, that you're going to go through those uh, almond nuts and the marshmallows and rocky wood ice cream. But <laughs> <laughs> just go for it. Take your shot. Well, well thank you, Jasmine. Any shout outs that you want to give to anybody that's been along um, your journey? I give a shout out to the whole entire world because the world has taught me <laughs> a lot. Mm. But like my family, my, of course, my, even my team, you know, my, my, my production team, there's so many people in my life that inspired me. I can't even name all of them. Bless Brown, Richard McAdams, E.T. Thomas. <laughs> yes. Well, listen, Jasmine, I'm going to give you anything that else you want to share with us about you, your journey, your why. Woo! I love that, Jasmine. Anything else you want to share with us before we let you go? Um, hmm. Well, I, this is just a... a, a it's just probably not that important, but I'm learning the piano and the ukulele too, and silence yes. too. So, listen, listen y'all, Jasmine is learning the piano, the ukulele, sign language. Listen, Jasmine, oh, I think. yes, I'm actually this. I'm actually working a new project that I'm directing, it's called Cedar Woods. Yes. So, be on the lookout for that in February. So, I'm shooting yeah. actually this weekend. So, awesome, yeah. listen, everybody. This is Jasmine Tatiana Brown. I told you earlier, she's amazing. Get ready to look for her. I'm telling you, she's going to be in lights, camera, action. I'm telling you, you're going to see her name. Get ready for Oscars. I'm telling you, I, I, I'm getting ready. And listen, Jasmine, I want to be there on the red carpet to Definitely. take your photo. And, and, and listen, you have to, uh, uh, if you're ever in the Jersey, New York area, listen, I would love the honor to, to do a photo shoot with you. Oh, definitely. I definitely, I love New York. I went there whenever I was like, maybe nine. Yeah, 
nine, I believe so. Wow. And I worked so bad. I had like the greatest time ever. So definitely. Awesome. Well, listen, um, thank you so much. Anything else you want to share with us? Um, go for your dreams. Take the shot. You never know what's going to come out of it. And I love you guys. Well, everybody give it up for Jasmine, Tatiana Brown. Listen, we're so proud of you. Listen, y'all, I told you every week we're coming back to inspire you to dream. Take that step and walk with purpose into your destiny. Thank you so much for being with us. And I told y'all during the technical difficulty that I was going to hold on for Jasmine. Because listen, she is worth the wait. Oh, and I can tell you, it definitely was. So Jasmine, I wasn't going to let this go until I had to come back on. I was, so listen, like, man, I was like, did you really leave the meeting? I was like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen? <laughs> Wow. No, I'm a, Jasmine, I'm not going to leave. Jasmine, you, listen, I said I'm going to hold on because I believe there's something else that you have to say. And I'm <laughs> so glad. I'm so glad that I did. Thank you for this honor, Jasmine. We so appreciate you. We're so proud of you. I can't wait to see what's coming next for you. Thank you so much to your mom, your dad, your family, everybody. Everybody, Jasmine, Tatiana Brown, let's give it up. for Jasmine, Tatiana Brown. Thank you, Jasmine. It was a pleasure having you on the show. We you appreciate you. you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. Listen, come back tomorrow night. We got a phenomenal guest tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you know my motto, dream. Take that step and walk with purpose into your destiny. This is Troy Alexander, Inspiration with Troy Alexander. Have a great night. Mm -hmm.